We're here in downtown St. Catharines for the ninth annual In the Soil Festival, celebrating the arts of all kinds in the Garden City. Music, film, theater, comedy, visual arts, and more. It all comes together right here, right now. You know, there's an amazing group of people who come together. We, we work with our community. We listen to what people are interested in, and we try to, to see it and make it come to fruition. I think we really understand the role of the artist in the festival, having performed in many festivals ourselves. So we, we really focus a lot on our artist relations and you know trying to make it as comfortable for everybody as possible, and you know be as accommodating as possible, and yeah, and just try to to give everybody the opportunity to to create the work they want to create. Annie, tell me about the growth of this festival over its nine years. Well, it certainly has been growing, and uh, we use a lot of agrarian puns at the festival, but it really did just start as a seed. It started as a conversation about collaborating with the arts community to showcase uh, the amazing talents that are here in Niagara. And here we are nine years later. The seed has uh, sprouted and been planted and taken root, and we just continue to see it thrive and flourish. We were actually always involved with the festival, Suitcase in Point. We are co-founders of the festival, but we took over management six years ago. It was a, it was a collaborative management, and then we decided to add our own uh, artistic flair to it. And it really was a turning point. Um, we started to focus more on innovation, unique audience experiences, uh, as well as more, uh, you know, upping our game on theater and uh, all sorts of different things. So, yeah, for sure. Anna, you're the volunteer coordinator for In the Soil. How many volunteers and how do they sign up to help out? This year there's over 100 volunteers for the festival and usually they just sign up online on our website. What kind of person typically volunteers for In the Soil? Typically, uh, movers and shakers apply for volunteers at In the Soil. Uh, usually people who either are already involved in the art scene downtown St. Catharines or want to meet some more people within that scene. With 11 venues hosting the festival scattered all across the downtown area, one of the more talked about events takes place at Brock's Maryland I. Walker School for the Performing Arts. I'm definitely a big fan of rhizomes. I think it's a really cool opportunity to see a bunch of different artwork, installations, performances, people really responding to the space. It's also an awesome opportunity to check out the, the brand new school down here. And... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really kind of creative and cool little scene. It's like its own little festival within a festival. Turnout for opening night was the biggest ever for the festival. In the Soil continues Saturday and Sunday in downtown St. Catharines. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.